Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, desktop shortcut icons on Windows 10 and Windows 11 help accessing apps and makes um, accessing your files a lot easier. And the shortcut, though, adds this little shortcut arrow to the bottom left of the actual desktop shortcut, which, if you are looking for a cleaner kind of look um, on Windows 10 and Windows 11, can can ruin your desktop's visual appeal, for want of a better word. So, just to let you know, though, that you can actually remove these arrows um, without using any third-party software and by fiddling in the registry editor, if you prefer a cleaner and kind of cl clutter-free look on Windows 10 and Windows 11, because as you may well know, both OSs don't have any options to remove those shortcut uh, that shortcut logo from the bottom left of the desktop icon. So if you are comfortable to fiddle in the registry editor, it's actually quite easy to remove shortcut errors from desktop icons um, on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, as I always suggest to get to the registry, we just right click on the start menu, we click on run, we enter reg edit, click on OK, and this will open the Windows registry editor. Now, what I always suggest before fiddling in the registry is just export your registry. It just it takes a couple of seconds. It's not a very long process, and it's a worthwhile process at the end of the day because if something goes bang while fiddling in the registry, you can always come back and import that as a quick safety net and as a backup. Now, what we need to do is we need to navigate, first of all, to H key local machine, open that key and that folder. Then we navigate to software and do the same. Then we look for Microsoft and expand the Microsoft folder and key. Then under Microsoft, we need to go right down to the almost the bottom to get the Windows key. So here we go. So we're looking for Windows and we expand Windows. Now we're looking for current version. So we expand the current version once again. And under current version, we are looking for Explorer. Okay, so here we go. Explorer. And then we expand the Explorer key. Now, under Explorer, we are looking for shell icons. Okay. Now, as you can see, in my case, I don't have shell icons. I have shell folders and some other shell keys and folders, but no shell file, no shell icons. So if you're in my situation where you don't see shell icons, if it doesn't exist, then we need to add that key and rename it to shell icons. So to do this, we head back up to uh, we head back up to Explorer. We right click on that. And then we select new key. Okay, and the new key, we have to name it shell icons. Okay, so if you have clicked anywhere on the on the space, it will just call it um, new key. So what we need to do is rename that, and we need to name that shell icons. So that's capital S, H E L L space capital R icons. Okay, shell icons. And then just right click here and there we go that renames it now what we need to do now is we need to click on shell icons and now what we need to do is we need to right click on that head to new and now we need to create a new string value okay and name that to 29 okay so we need to add 29 and rename that string value accordingly now what we need to do is we need to double click on 29 and here in the uh, value data we need to set its value data to this now that's quite a mouthful so what i will do is i'll leave this down below in the description for you to copy and paste okay so in the value data we paste that in and we click on ok and what we need to do now once that's all set you x out of your registry 
And then what you'd have to do now is restart Windows or sign out of Windows and then um, sign back in. I can't do that because it'll crash this recording. But what I have done um, prior to posting is I took a screenshot after changing all that in the registry and restarting and signing out of my device. So there we go. We can see those shortcut arrows have been removed. No shortcut error in the bottom left of any of those desktop icons. So that's just a quick way to show you how you can remove those shortcut errors from desktop icons if you prefer a cleaner and clutter-free look on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if you want to put everything back to how it was uh, beforehand to um, to re-enable the desktop shortcut icons with the arrow in the bottom left, then it's very simple. You just follow the steps once again in this video. And then what you would do is you would just delete the shell icons folder you created um, or any of those string values. If you have shell icons, you just uh, delete any of those values under shell icons or just the whole key and that will pop everything back to how it was. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.